Okay, click right. one. Click two. Okay. Perfect. RAM is in and locked. Excellent. And if you look on the right, just to point out on the right side, on the other side of the motherboard, uh, you'll see a little connector there. Yeah, just uh, below, in the center, right at the front. Yeah, yeah just below the bridge. Fingers. That's where the, uh, if you ever purchase the, uh, the cable for VGA and the PS2 uh, connection, it'll plug right into that, uh, that little connector there. So that, is that something that they just use basically during testing, or is it a service option? Yeah, that's right. It was during testing, uh, HP would, uh, you know, whoever tested the machine, they would be able to connect their video, because if you ever turned off your NIC card or something, you know, you wouldn't be able to, to get back into the server. So at least here, with that connector, you'd be able to have access to a PS2 mouse, PS2 keyboard, and a VGA. So uh, what I did is that I purchased, uh, I purchased one video cable, and I also built my own. And uh, so in the future, if you're ever uh, considering put adding a VGA uh, wire, that's the place to, to, that it'll end up connecting to. Okay, and you had mentioned you had uh, cut through your case and you had made some other modifications that, that made it really easy once it was done, correct? Yeah, and uh, I actually cut out the hole where uh, the Kensington lock is in the back. If you have, you have the case there, yeah, right there. I took a Dremel and I, I basically cut out a, a, a hole the size of the, uh, the VGA cable and uh, put it there. And then, so you have to cut that part and then you have to cut the, uh, the plastic that goes over that part, the rear uh, case. Hmm. So that's where that would, that's where I put it. That's the, that's the most convenient because everything in that uh, case is it's a tight fit. There's not too many places to play around with. So if you have just a VGA cable, uh, what I did is I ended up taking a, a VGA cable, store-bought VGA cable, cut it, and uh, you know took the shielding off and put it in there. And I made it fit, but that's that's just to point out that's where, the spot where it is. So you have nothing left on the back of your case, right? You've cut most of the support out of it already. Yeah, and the other thing is you'll notice if you ever want to work on the uh, like take out the fans, you'll notice there's uh, four rubber feet on the fans. You see that at the uh, yeah, that's it. And if you look at the back of the case, you'll see that you can kind of jiggle them. Yeah, yeah so you, you jiggle them to the to the left, and uh, you have to be careful about it because uh, you don't want to rip them. You know they could rip, so you'll you'll just move them to the to the left, and then you can pull the fan out. Okay. And that's it. Like and I said, the, uh, in case you ever want to get the gunk off the fan, if you find you know that you're, uh, I mean this one is this unit is really nice and clean. So, uh, but if people who add it in the garage or whatever, and it's very dusty, if you want to take out those fans, that's uh, that's how you would do. Slide it to the left, the top one and the bottom one, and then uh, there's a little clip that's holding the harness wire to the right side of the case, and you can unhook it from there, and those fans should be able to come out. So, someone like Andrew Edney with a lot of cats would probably want to take his fans out. There you go. Nice. Yeah, and then uh, like I said, I cut out. I use a pair of snippers and I actually cut out that grill. Yeah, it's, that's for safety. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it's a, but, uh, you know, for an ordinary person there, is just, you know, leave it as is. So that's about it. So once you change the memory, uh, you should be good to go. Now you'll just uh, slide it back into the case. Okay. And you just want to be careful not to pinch the, uh, the, the connector there, the, the big wire harness that goes from the printer circuit board to the, uh, to the power supply. You oh. slide it back in. You'll have to, uh, you'll see what I mean once you get that going. Okay, so we're here. Um, there are some little rails underneath on the inside that I'm going to mount onto. So I'm going to just do this slowly. And boy, they made this really tight. Okay. Oh, it just slipped in there. That's good. Yeah, I like prom. All right, so um, at this point, then it it just needs to put the screws back in. We're just going to reverse all the instructions that we did, correct? Yeah. So finger tight there. The one on the back. Uh, if you have one of those little screwdrivers, that's really good with the um, holding your screws or magnetized. Uh, you probably want to use that for, for some of these things. Uh, it's a little hard to get in there. Uh, mine is not. I'm pretty, pretty lucky. So now I've, I've set that up. So. Yeah. 
What's nice to point out is that if you notice the power supply, you see how there's the fan right there in the front. See, it's behind that uh, the black cable. Mm -hmm. See, that's the uh, see in the 470. That's that's obviously the way they have it. In the new 490 models, that fan they actually moved it to the rear of the case, and uh, so it's a lot quieter. That it helps out in the, in the being quiet. So sometimes you might, if you look at that fan and you see it's pretty dusty, that might be another area where you want to take the uh, the air pressure, the can of air, and clean that out a bit. Yeah, I cleaned that it out it. when we were uh, when we had everything apart. I cleaned it out. I don't like to blow uh, compressed air whenever it's in the the box itself because you always end up with just all that stuff somewhere else. So it's nice to be able to do this once and for all and to get everything out. So this is all set up now. All the wires kind of tuck in there nicely. So uh, next step would be to put back on the front case. That's right. So that guy has uh, two little uh, like uh, tabs on the left there. You'll see it. Uh, where went, uh, no, a higher. Yeah, that's a little. Yeah, right there. Those two guys. Yeah. When you put those guys in, just make sure you get it behind the, the plate. Okay. You can see case. that this one's still got the plastic on it. My parents kind of like leave that on there. I'm surprised I don't have plastic on their couch. Okay, so the case is a, is a little bit harder to get in there. There's two little tabs and then they go into this indented area. So you've kind of got to slide it in there and be careful of the board. Yeah, and then just before you close it, you'll snap the, the harness cable back to the circuit board. All right. All That's it. Make sure it's a good fit, and then as you close it there, you make sure you're, you're, uh, you don't pinch the, uh, the cable. Right. And it should close properly until it gets flush with the, uh, with the case. Yeah, that's it. Take the time to, to do a good job because you wouldn't want to pinch one of those cables or... Yeah, my, my power cable has dropped below that little shelf on there so if you do not get it correctly then it'll okay there you go now you just put in those two little uh, black screws yeah, easier said than done yeah this yeah, is that seems to be the hardest part. hardest part yeah for sure Okay, screw number one and scripts to screw number two and for those of you playing the home game just make sure that you have a nice open area because if you drop one of these screws uh, you will be looking all over for it these things are very very tiny okay Okay, so now um, the way that this is set up, you can see it's got the two uh, fan controllers on top. Um, also, you can see how it's got the, the, the connection point for the board. And then you can see it's got the, the SATA connection and then the power connection uh, for each one. So this will slide down through the back side. Yeah, so you'll slide it in there and... Uh... So you'll drop it down and then from the inside you'll grab it and pull it a little bit forward. Yeah, just go all the way down. And yeah, that's it. You have to be careful, you know, when you because you're probably banging into a couple of little pieces, but that's it, be careful. And that's it. Now from the inside, grab it, just the way you had taken it apart. And you gotta and that's it, it's gonna sit on those uh, on those pins again. So you have to kinda jiggle it forward and then you'll notice that it'll line up against the back of the case and then you'll lock it down.